So why does Adam Simpson, fresh off his sacking from the West Coast Eagles, need to reach out to Andrew Dillon, CEO of the AFL, and give him a big hug? Today we're talking about a change in the AFL that directly affected the men on the sidelines, the coaches. Because in late 2023, the AFL announced a major improvement for coaches, increased termination clause playouts. Senior coaches who now get sacked will receive a full year's salary and assistant coaches will get six months. That's double the previous payout. See, before then, AFL coaches received a maximum six month payout, whilst assistant and development coaches only got three months. Why would you enter into an industry that has job security as volatile as that? That's right, if a coach gets the boot, they're now looking at getting significantly better financial security. This was one of the first changes Andrew Dillon made when he became the AFL CEO when he took over from Gillen McLaughlin. This move is all about giving coaches more financial security. Remember Brett Ratner and Stuart Jew? They both got let go with only half the remaining contract being paid out. This new policy aims to soften the blow for coaches who lose their jobs. But here's the interesting part. It also puts more pressure on clubs to make smarter decisions. Before firing a coach, boards will need to seriously consider the financial implications. It's a call to be more thoughtful about who gets hired and for how long. Remember the blood baths at St Kilda and Richmond? Those days are virtually long gone. The AFL Coaches Association CEO Alistair Nicholson said at the time that these payouts will provide a much needed safety net for coaches and their families. But it also benefits the league as a whole. A more secure coaching environment could attract and retain top talent instead of them moving into the media or sometimes leaving football altogether. But it wasn't just the coach's tenure that this policy affected. But there were other changes in this policy that affected coaches and clubs. 20% now of a senior coach's salary can fall outside the soft cap, freeing up more money for clubs to spend on their football departments. And there was an increase in the soft cap. An extra $325,000 was added to it, bringing the total to $7.25 million. So all in all, is this a good move? Well, this policy change seems like it's a win-win for both coaches and the AFL. It provides financial security for coaches, encourages clubs to be more strategic, and potentially attract higher caliber coaching talent. I can imagine Adam Simpson right now might not be feeling too good, but at least he and his family leave the West Coast with the financial stability that an 11-year premiership coach deserves. So what do you think? Let us know in the comments below. Do coaches deserve this extra security? Will this improve the overall coaching landscape in the AFL? Hit the subscribe button for more AFL content, and we'll see you next time. We're Lace Out, and it's how you want your footy.